Hi everyone. Welcome to Leaf France. The Leafs lose uh, five to two against the Florida Panthers, and they're playing the Boston Bruins, not the Florida Panthers in the playoffs, because Boston lost tonight, and they lost to Ottawa, and they lost like three to one. <laughs> so the Leafs have uh, they outshot Ottawa thirty-five to twenty, but couldn't pull it off, and they play the Leafs. So, let's see how that goes, eh? But, we're not here to talk about the Boston Bruins and the Ottawa Senators. We're here to talk about the Toronto Maple Leafs versus Florida Panthers. And what happened tonight. And how they blew two-goal lead. And lost 5-2. to two. So, three minutes, 25 seconds in. Mitch Marner scores on the power play. And it's one nothing Toronto. Snapshot. Nice little goal. It's one nothing. Then somehow, I don't know how, the Leafs get a penalty for Matthew Kachuk, Matthew Kachuk trying to murder John Tavares, and he stuck up for himself. And Simone Benoit came in and kind of helped out a little bit. Now you can say, well, Tavares ripped Kachuk's helmet off. Well, yeah, Matthew Kachuk was trying to murder him. What do you expect him to do? Sit there and be like, oh yes, please punch me. Please keep hitting me in the face. I really like it. No. <laughs> Why would he do that? Why would he do that? He's going to stand up for himself a little bit. Then they kill it off, and they honestly had a really good penalty kill, which I don't think we've said about the Leafs in a while. And then Austin Matthews is out there. And everyone's looking at him to get 70, and he almost does. And he's almost done that like five times now. But it's in the D zone, and he awkwardly panics and like just passes it right towards the boards. And I think he meant to go behind the net and over. But it bounces right off and goes right to Matthew Kachuk, who walks in on Joseph Wall. And Joseph Wall makes a big save. But, like, Matthews, you kind of owe him dinner off that one. That was that was a weird D-zone turnover that results in a great scoring chance for Florida. And you just can't be doing that. But you know what? It's Austin Matthews. So you forgive him because he's very defensively responsible. Other than that, um, then... <laughs> Pontus Holmberg, what a forecheck here to find a way to get it just to apply the pressure that forces Florida to dump it around the boards and it goes straight to Noah Gregor. And then Pontus Holmberg moves himself in front of the net to put on a beautiful screen and Noah Gregor scores because Stolarz can't see the puck. What a play by Pontus Holmberg. He doesn't get an assist. He deserves one, and that's Noah Gregor's first goal of 2024. Um, then the Leafs just take another stupid penalty for nothing, and that's what ends off the period. Uh, they they kill it off, though. <laughs> Power play was, or the penalty kill was really good tonight. Um, then in the second, 28 seconds in, Carter Verhage makes it 2-1. to one. Off of just bad puck managing play by the Leafs there, to be honest. Um, wasn't a great start to the second there. And uh, that's kind of how the entire second period went. Um, then Tyler Bertuzzi gets a penalty for goaltender interference. And the Leafs just about kill it off. And Edmondson gets an interference call. And it's five on three for nine seconds. Joseph Wall makes a couple big saves. Leafs kill off both penalties, and it's like, okay. So the penalty kill's been pretty good tonight. And then Bennett tips it right by Joseph Wall. And you can't really blame him there, because Bennett like didn't even mean to tip this thing. He kind of just goes off his skates a little bit. And, yep. And then, 10 seconds later, bad defensive play, and it's 3-2 Florida, just like that, and you're down in this game. I don't know what else to tell you. Can't be doing that. And then not a lot. Brandon Montour scores. Great big screen in front of Joseph Wall. Can't blame him on that. Kind of like him to have it, but he can't see the puck. It's hard to make a save when you can't see the puck. Right? I don't know. 
<laughs> it's imagine trying to stop a puck that's coming at you like what was it, 86 miles per hour but you can't see the thing coming at you and it's traveling at that fast of a speed you can barely see it you just see it last second it's like yeah you're not going to save that either right like don't don't be so hard on Joseph Wall. I know it's his entire job to stop it, but he couldn't see the puck. That's not on him. That's another bad defensive play. Whew. Ben Labushkin takes an interference penalty. And Wall makes another big, more big stops on the penalty kill. Joseph Wall had a really, really good night. Don't let those four goals fool you. Florida had 42 shots on goal. 41 on Wall, I believe. Just the empty netter. Does it count as a shot? I believe so. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, and then there's a big scrum in the in the Leafs uh, net to end the period right after the penalty kill, and some somehow that st- stayed out. I honestly don't know how. Like I really don't. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 41 shots on Wall. He had a 902 save percentage. He was honestly really good. Okay, and that's it for the second. And then, third period, it gets a little bit more interesting. Um, because immediately, right off the bat, or not immediately, but in the third period, like less than a minute in, a BS Tavares holding call, I'm not going to lie. That was horrible. Horrible, man. Absolute horrible call. I hated that. Refs seem to be on Florida's side all night tonight, and then they're like, oh, wait, we can't do this. It's not playoffs yet. And then they called a couple in Toronto's favor. But another good penalty kill from the Leafs. They kill it off. Kill it off. And then Sam Bennett takes a hooking penalty against Tavares, and they are both battling, and Tavares chicken-winged it a little bit, but that's a penalty. I'm not saying all these penalties against Toronto weren't penalties. Some of them were. Like the interference ones, they were for sure penalties. But that Tavares one where it's in the scrum, and then there's one that was exactly like it again. Those just aren't. Like Jake McCabe's slashing penalty against Evan Rodriguez. Like what the hell was that? That was made-up call. And then whatever. So, we head to the power play. Matthews almost gets 70. Oh my god. God, hits the post. Hits the post. Oh, that would have been nice, eh? Would have made my night. No one got injured. Matthews would have scored 70. They would have lost, but they played Boston in the playoffs. And you know what? It's a good chance for redemption against them. But whatever. Fourth line goes out. Ryan Reeves. Big hit in the corner in the offensive zone. Then it comes back to the defensive zone. And who else other than David Camp? Am I reading that right? Yep. David Camp makes a big hit in the defensive zone. I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, David Camp is making those kind of hits now? Also, Nylander did it, had a really nice forecheck where he went in and usually tries to avoid the body when he's going into the offensive zone. He made a hit against the boards too. I thought that looked really good. Um, then Wall makes a good rebound save. And then it goes like... So he makes a save, and then it comes out, and it goes off of Lilligren, and he stops it again, and like that's the big rebound stop I'm talking about here. And then, like, the power play needs some work. Penalty kill was really, really good tonight. Uh, six for six on the PK against Florida, who's a top team in the league. Obviously, they just won the, the Atlantic division. Um, but, yeah, six for six. Can't complain about that. Then the Leafs pull the goalie. Florida makes it five to two, and then the Leafs pull the goalie again. And like, they're clearly just trying to get Austin Matthews a goal there. That's all that was. They knew the game was over with. They didn't care. Let's see how much time on ice did Matthews get? Nineteen twenty nine. Who had the least amount? Ryan Reeves with eight minutes. Stewart had twelve. Gregor had thirteen. Let's see. Pontus Holmberg. Fourteen eleven. Too bad. Really thought twenty minutes, twenty minute Pontus Holmberg was gonna show up tonight. Shots were forty two to twenty six. It was really friggin' bad in the second. Shots were like thirty one to four. 
29 to 4. That's bad, man. That's really bad. Sheldon Keith, you got to address that, man. Like, cool. That was really bad. Um, also, noteworthy, Ben Wall skated in his 200th regular season game tonight. Not too bad. Um, Florida, like in the arena, there's a lot of Austin Matthews fans, like a lot of Leafs fans there just for Matthews. And a lot of Florida pan fans just chanting, we want Florida. And it's like, like not like the Leafs didn't already say that about Boston too then. And why wouldn't you want Florida? Why wouldn't you have wanted Florida last year? They were the wild card team that shouldn't even have made it into the playoffs because Calgary had more points than them. They're just in a different conference. Whew. Why would the Leafs not want to play against the Florida Panthers who were down 3-1 to one against the Boston Bruins? When this is a fact from Sportsnet Stats on Twitter, Maple Leafs will square off against the Bruins in round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. A team Toronto hasn't beaten in the postseason since 1959. <laughs> the season series, Toronto has zero wins. Boston has four. Toronto has seven goals. Boston has 14. The power play percentage has been 30% for Boston. 9.1% for Toronto. The save percentage, 0.949 for Boston, 0.891 for Toronto. No, I don't know. That's just from Sports Night Stats. I don't know if this is just in Game 7s. I don't really know. Leafs only having seven goals in the entire series would be. It must be in game sevens. Must be in game sevens. So I don't know. But, Frig, would you want Boston last year when they were the number one team in the league? I don't know. Um, Mark Masters on Twitter. Uh, Sheldon Keefe was asked, will Austin Matthews play on Wednesday in Tampa? Sheldon Keefe said, we'll talk about it. We have 12 healthy forwards. So, we'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be a bit different. Because it's, yeah, it's the last game of the season. So we're going to do like a playoff preview type of thing. Like I did a season preview at the very start. Um, just break it down, all my predictions, see how those went and how I, how I think they are now. And hopefully Matthews gets 70 and we have something to cheer about going into the playoffs. And hopefully they start on Saturday, April 20th, in Boston. The Toronto Maple Leafs are playing the Boston Bruins in 2024. Let's see what happens. We're Boston bound. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please click like. If you thought it was amazing, or even just good, clicking subscribe makes me feel pretty good. If you want to come back, click subscribe. Um. <laughs> We're playing the Boston Bruins. Get ready, Leafs Nation. Let's, uh... I guess there's only one more question to ask. Do you believe? Do you believe in the Toronto Maple Leafs?